I'm at your service tonight. I found you a priest. Really? <laughs> That's wonderful news. Who is he? The former parish priest of St. James. I persuaded him to return to live among you, at least for a while. So you found him? Yes. He was roaming the woods around here. Thank God. You'll see. Once there's a priest, people will soon be back. I hope so. I've put together a small sum uh, for a new piece. So I thought uh, a portion should definitely go to you as a reward. I couldn't possibly take it. You'll need the money to rebuild the village. As you wish, then. I shan't weigh you down with it. So, farewell to you. And I hope he gets here soon. Just that you let him run off again. I'll keep an eye on him myself. Godspeed to you, Henry. And thank you for your help. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. I've been sent by Captain Bernard. He says you have Cuma marauders here. Ah, so it was you Bernard was speaking of. Well, the Cumans are marauding, that's for sure. Sir Givish did declare a decent reward for taking the bastards down. But we've not had cause to pay out to anyone so far. Is that because the locals are too frightened? No. They're more than willing to try. It's just they don't seem to make it back again. But don't let me put you off. We do know of one camp, along the road to Neuhof, hidden between the cliffs. I'll pay you your reward if you can bring me proof you've killed the camp leader. They wear peculiar helmets with a face mask of sorts, easy to recognize. All right, I'll see to it.
What was that? Come here, Lily Liver. Who's there? I'll gut you like a What's rabbit. What's going on there? No! What are you doing there? Oh, again! Hey, what are you? Something over Itt nem látok, megjött a mulatság. God save you, Henry. 
Here's your share. One ale over here, please. My share of what? What the hell are you on about? Well, that thing with Thomas, uh, somehow his ring ended up with us. Thomas? Who's he? That bastard of a foreman at the mill in Adechko, where you got us a job. Are you out of your tiny mind? If anyone finds out you robbed him, we'll all be fucked. Take it easy. It wasn't theft exactly. We all know he stole that ring himself. So if it comes out, he'll be in the shit too. He'll keep his mouth shut. Welcome, Henry. Here, just as you ordered. Where'd you find someone willing to buy and not ask too many questions? It wasn't easy, but then Fritz thought of Andrew. Andrew? The innkeeper here. They say all sorts of things about him. And how did it go with him? Well, first he didn't seem too keen, but when he saw the ring, he bought it off us. Actually, I'm not surprised. After all, we'll spend all the money on booze here anyway. What now? What will you do next? Now that you mention it... Uh, out with it, then. What have you thought up now? I can't help myself. It's force of habit. We tried to be good at Sassal. So good that you punched a novice in the mouth. Exactly. We broke our backs working in the mill. And they drove you out. And they drove us out. The only worthwhile thing we did recently was give that wastrel a thrashing, take his ring and sell it to Andrew. I'm not sure I like where you're going with this. And where's that? No one in the country gives a damn about the law. And if we knock some thief over the head in the woods, or ambush some wagon with supplies for Sigismund's soldiers, I won't lose any sleep over it. Here we are. It's still robbery. Wake up, for Christ's sake! It's war! They skewered your parents, didn't they? They fucking burned down our fucking village, didn't they? Don't you give a damn about that? You know I do. And now, there's a herd of swine ransacking skeletons. Those fuckers are trampling over the ashes of Jeremiah, and Desmond, and Siegfried, and Tristan. <sighs> Let's chop those bastards to pieces, one after the other. I can't let it go, Hal. Even if I have to do it on my own, I'll put the fear of God into those bastards. Henry. We'll strike fear into the fuckers. <sighs> I knew we could rely on you, Hal. I knew it. I'll bring it right away. You then. Come over here and let me whip at it something in your ear. So, what's the plan? Well, I thought Andrew the innkeeper here could help us, but he's nervous. Best ask Fritz. He sorted out selling the ring, and he knows Andrew better. All right, I'll do that. Greetings. I hear you've got a plan to fleece the local villains. Be nice, wouldn't it? Otherwise we soon won't have a pot to piss in. And the innkeeper here could lend a helping hand? Exactly. So what's the problem? Uh, he reckons we're not up to it. You should try and talk him into it. You were always good at that. Oh. And tell him I sent you, so he doesn't send you packing. 
Do you know how I might set about convincing Andrew? Mention money. That's all? Aye. Often the innkeeper's as greedy as they come. My respects to you. How's trade? Any trouble around these parts? Around here? The ones who've got it worst are them at the Neuhof stud farm. Getting things up and running again without old Smill would be a job and a half. His widow Zora is a fine woman, tough as they come. But, well, she's a woman still. Fritz sent me. I'd like to talk about... Ah, you'd like some wine from my cellar? I have it right here, in the back. Hey, Henry's come to see us. That's right. Show me the way. Hi, oh. So, Fritz sent you, did he? Aye. This was his idea. Look, lad, I'm fond of Fritz. I knew his old man, but Matthew, he's insane. Robbing people. Only those that deserve it. And you think his lordship won't mind? Have you any idea the kind of shit you can get into? <laughs> I don't believe you're up to it. Why don't you believe us? Do I look like a man who let himself get caught? <laughs> You've got balls, all right. We'll see if you're up to it. You'll need a disguise. What disguise? Use your head. You can never be sure no one will see you. Yeah, that's true. We'll have to put on some other clothes or... Dress up as humans. What? It's obvious, isn't it? Everyone knows they're looting. If someone's robbed by humans, no one will investigate. Hmm, that's true. But I'll have to get some human clothes. A captain's. And three sets of them. What? On account of the helmets. No one will recognize you with them on. And where the hell am I supposed to get it? There's gangs of humans around skeletons. I've got a good idea where to find them from. Uh, passers-by. I'm supposed to attack a human camp. A minute ago, you were full of yourself. And now, all of a sudden, you've lost your nerve. But the whole fucking camp? Oh, scouts are deserters. Most likely the ones who are trying to skive off or take easy pickings. And even humans have to sleep. Oh, 
Csak ti csak! Nem hiszem el! I've got them. Three full outfits. What? Everything. Are you, Henry? The 
whole bloody lot. I'll fetch it right away. Well then, let's see how you look in it. Oh. Is that it? it it's a bit... Uh... Ordinary? Are you serious? I got it straight from the fucking humans. Oh, it's not exactly, uh, terrifying, is it? <laughs> it's about as frightening as my aunt's speckled hen. It just don't look much like a cumin to me. Have any of you actually seen a cumin? What? Do you mean close up? <laughs> don't be daft. Mirror Mirror's described them many times. Everyone knows cumins are monstrous. They're barbarians. Pagans. Whereas you... Look like a little boy playing at soldiers. And just who the hell is Miramir? He's a regular in my tavern. He works as a caravan guard and he knows what he's talking about. He's been eye to eye with a human and he's lived to tell the tell. You can ask him yourself. Nah, what are they now? Oi, Henry. Take that ridiculous thing off before anyone sees you, eh? Hey, look out! Huh. Folks these days. I hope I can be a help to you tonight. They tell me you've seen a lot of humans. They say you'd recognise one even in the dark. I certainly would. Buy me a drink and I'll tell you stories that will make your hair curl. Here you go. Thanks. What's your name, anyway? That's nothing to you. Hmm. Anyway, not long ago, I was escorting a goods caravan all the way from Vienna, when all of a sudden, a terrible storm came down. Hail, lightning, snow, the works. Snow? In summer? Don't interrupt. Where was I? Oh, that's right, the storm. We straight off the path, hey, Henry, couldn't see the ground it. beneath our feet. And all of a sudden, we heard singing. In the Hail, distance, we saw a fire in the clearing, with malevolent creatures ranged around it, singing demonic songs. <laughs> Are these malevolent creatures didn't mind the snow. Wouldn't they have preferred to sing somewhere warm? The big choir, anyway. As if in a trance, we walked towards the fire. And at that moment, My we saw them. Were those hideous creatures monsters or demons, you ask? No. They were humans. And a bunch of infants, crying and sniffling. Uh, so, someone was feeling the cold. I'd have been shivering too. Snow doesn't do me any good, especially in summer. And those devilish creatures were drinking the blood of babies and fornicating with she-devils. We stood there paralysed with fear until I, and I alone, managed to break out of the spell. I can tell you, I never ran so fast in my life. Hey, look out! I was the only one to escape. Right here. Since that time, Come I've right been out. able to do nothing but sit here. Hey, I can't hey, work come to see since us. that awful shock. I'm probably arm. still under a spell. Yeah, undoubtedly. Probably a spell of laziness. Listen, Millimere, what you just said is complete and utter bollocks from start to finish. What the hell would you know about it, peasant? I'm from fucking Scalitz. Here you are. I watched those bastards butchering my kith and kin with my own eyes. Ah, uh, you might have said that before. I could have saved the yarn for someone who'd appreciate it. Where did you hear this nonsense? Who's been spreading all these rumours about how frightening the Cumans look? Oh, the people from around these parts. Brown, Welcome, Henry. the charcoal burner told me about them. He lives in the woods near here. Then there's Oliver, 
the wife of the Talmberg fisherman? And young Varshak, a stable boy at the stud farm in Ushitz. He, he saw them too. Coming right up. <laughs> 